Hello and welcome back to Algebra 1-2. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at how to solve what we call some hidden quadratic equations. That is, the quadratic equations that do not look immediately like quadratic equations because they are disguised in other form. And so that is our task for today, to go through a few questions to give you a feel um, as to how, they, how you can go about solving them. Our first question is, 2p over 5 plus 5 over p equal 3. Now, as it is, it doesn't look like a quadratic equ um, equation. But when we look at our denominator here, 5p, we realize that we can multiply through the whole equation by 5p. So let us do that. Let's say 5p multiplied by 2p over 5. We are doing that to get rid of the, of the um, denominators here. So plus 5p over um, 5p times 5 over p equal to 3 times 5p. And now look here. Once we multiply here, we realize that we get 2p square. Here, the p is divided out, um, plus 25. And that's equal to 3 times 5. That's uh, 15p. And we can remove this, this 15p to the other side of the equation to get 2p square minus 15p plus 25 equal 0. Looking at this um, equation, we real you can probably realize that it can be factored. And if you factor it, you're going to get something like, um, well, you're going to get 2p minus 5 times p plus 5. So... Um, go ahead and factor this out. So you can factorize this, and in factorizing it, you will end up with this um, equation, which will tell us that um, 2p minus 5 is equal to 0, in which case we get p is equal to 5 over 2 um, by solving that. And in the other case, p plus 5 is equal to 0, in which case when you solve it, you're going to end up with p equal negative 5. And so you end up with two solutions here. That is, p is equal to 5 over 2, and p is equal to negative 5. So I, I deliberately left out a few things. Once you find the equation, um, you have been solving quadratic equations for a while. So once you, ha once you have found the equation, you realize you can factorize it. Factorize it. This is the result. And once you get the result, you can get your solutions by factoring it out. Let's take another look at equations requiring substitution. Now, some equations, um, when you when you try to solve them, you have to use substitution. Now, look at this one. It says x to the fourth minus 12x squared plus 27. It kind of looks quadratic in terms of the three-part polynomial, um, trinomial thing. Um, but as it is, we have an x to the fourth and an x squared here. Now, if we say, for example, let, um, let x squared equal to a, then what we're going to have here is x squared. Let me just write it out a little bit. x squared squared because of the 4 plus 12x squared plus 27 equals 0. And if we let... Um, x squared is equal to a, then we can reduce this equation to becoming a squared minus 12a plus 27 equal to 0. And so we can use that substitution to reduce this equation down to a quadratic form. And once we get it in this quadratic form, we can go ahead and apply the formula, or in this case, this one can be, can be factorized. So when you factorize this here, we end up with um, a minus 9 and a minus 3. So go ahead and factor this out. Once you factor this out, you end up with a minus 9 and a minus 3. And our solutions here would be solving this a minus 9 equals 0, in which case we get a is equal to 9. And solving this one, a minus 3 equals 0. And solving it, we end up with a is equal to 0 plus 3 
So A is equal to 3. So we have two solutions um, to start with. A is equal to 9 and A is equal to 3. But remember now that we had let A equal X square. So what we're actually saying here is that X square is equal to 9 and X square is equal to 3. And so to solve this equation, we need to, we need to finish up this part by saying um, x squared would be equal to the square root of 9, in which case we get um, the root of x squared, rather, in which case we get x is equal to positive or negative 3. So we have two solutions here. And here, taking the square root of both sides, x squared is equal to the square root of 3. We end up with x is equal to the plus or minus the root of 3. So we have four solutions, and given that it's a um, e equation with x to the fourth, then we expect four solutions at most. So our solutions would be, if we should choose to write them out, um, x is equal to 3, negative 3, root 3, and negative root 3. And those would be the solutions for that um, that equation right there. So the idea then first is to recognize what substitution could be used in this case, since we have a x square, x to the fourth, we could rewrite it as x square square and then substitute um, something else, another letter u, v, a, whatever you want to use for x and change that equation into a quadratic form. Once you get it into, into quadratic form, then you realize that you can solve it by using the formula. If you use the formula, or in this case, it can be factorized, you end up with the same result. A, minus a is equal to 9, A is equal to 3. But remember, once you substitute, that you have to um, then go ahead and use the thing that you substituted with to finish um, the equation. So that's that for this one. Let's look at another one. And here we have an exponential equation. 4 to the x plus 2 to the, um, to the x is minus 6 is equal to 0. Now, incidentally, if you look at 4 to the x, 4 to the x is actually equal to, so we can write that again, 4 to the x plus 2 to the x minus 6. 4 to the x is actually 2 square to the x um, plus 2 to the x minus 6. Yes, it's a quadratic, so let's put, um, it's an equation, let's put about that. Or we could rewrite it as um, 2 to the x square um, plus 2 to the x minus 6 equals 0. So if we, if we use the um, a substitution, so, so for example, let u equal 2 to the x, then we could end up with a quadratic equation that says u square plus um, u minus 6 equals 0, and then you use whatever method you want to solve this one. So you could use a formula or you could use factorization. It can be factorized. And when you factorize this one, you end up with u plus 3 and u minus 2 equal 0. Now, that would tell us in solving this, u plus 3 is equal to 0 and u minus 2 is equal to 0 that um, u is equal to negative 3 and also that u is equal to positive 2 and those would be the two solutions for our quadratic equation now let's look back at our original equation because we had said let u let 2 to the x equal to u and therefore um, we need to write now that 2 to the x is equal to negative 3 and also that 2 to the x is equal to 2. Now in this case, um, you cannot find a number that you can raise um, x2 to make it negative 3. It's totally not possible. So um, this is not a solution. Um, one way to get around these is to use logs. Uh, we haven't talked about that yet. But logs are, are very, very important, and we can use them to tackle questions like these. So if we take the log of, the, of both sides, then we'd say x times, using natural log or Napierian log, um, x ln um, 2 is equal to ln 3. You could use log 3, um, neg log of negative 3. And the idea is that the log of negative 3 doesn't exist. 
ln of negative three does not exist, it cannot be computed. And so there's no solution here. But on this side, we notice that two to the one can be equal to two. And so we have a solution here by saying x ln two is equal to ln of two. And so x would be therefore equal to the log of two divided by the log of two. And of course, you know that x is equal to one. So in this case, we have one solution for this equation, and that solution is one. So four to the one plus four to the plus two to the one minus 6, in which case you get 4 plus 2, 6, and 6 take away 6 would give you 0. This is the only, only solution that we have. The idea here, again, is to look for what substitution you could use. So by rewriting the equation in this form, you realize that we can make this substitution. Once you make the substitution, you go ahead, use your quadratic technique to solve, get your answer. But when you get your answer, remember to check it because the the answers that you get in your quadratic solution may not be the um, final answer. In most cases, it won't be the final answer. Or it will not, or there may be answers in there that can't work, such as in this case. Now let's look at one final one in which we have equations that have root signs. So when we're solving these kind of equations, now we have a root sign here, and the idea here is to get rid of the root sign first. So we can get rid of the root sign by squaring both sides. Let me write that down, squaring both sides. And so we have the square root of x square is equal to 2x minus 1 all square. Square root of x square, this this um, square is going to cancel out that root, so we end up with x here is equal to, multiplying this out, 4x squared minus 4x plus 1. And so if we reorganize this equation by um, taking this x to the other side of the equation, then we end up with 4x squared minus 5x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, of course, now that we have this quadratic equation, we can go ahead and solve that quadratic equation. And again, this quadratic equation can be factorized. So you could factorize it, or you could use the quadratic formula and get your solutions. So in factoring it, we end up with 4x minus 1 and x minus 1 equals 0. And the solutions will be x is equal to a quarter, and x is equal to positive 1. Now, once you get your answers, remember you need to check your answers. So checking, checking the answers. So let's check by using x is equal to a quarter. Now the equation says the square root of x is equal to 2 times x minus 1. Let's check it with a quarter. So the square root of a quarter should be equal to 2 times a quarter minus 1. Square root of a quarter is a half. Is equal to 2 times, two times a quarter is a half. Half minus 1 would give us um, a negative a half on this side. And so half is not equal to negative a half. So this is not a solution. So x is equal to a quarter doesn't work as a solution. But if we try the other one, let's try it. x is equal to 1. Square root of 1 is equal to 2 times 1 minus 1. Then the square root of 1 is 1. And 2 times 1 is 2 there. 2 minus 1 is 1. So 1 equal 1. That works. And so the solution for this equation would actually be x equal 1. And so that's how that would work. So whenever you have an equation that has square root signs in them, then the idea is that first you need to get rid of the square root sign. Usually you do that by squaring both sides. Or if you need to um, rearrange what you have there so that you can square both sides to get rid of the root sign, you do that first. And um, once you rewrite them, 
then you get your quadratic. This is the quadratic here. In this case, use your formula, use factorization, whichever method you prefer, get your answers. And in getting your answers, you need to check those answers to see if they work because sometimes they may not work. In this case, what they call it when the solution doesn't work, they call it an extraneous solution. Doesn't really matter.